I've been making YouTube videos for going on six years now, and over that time I've been asked a lot of questions, but you may be surprised to learn that the most common question I get asked is, Jazza, how is it that you're so <laughs> The answer to that is pretty simple. Not by myself, but with the help of trained professionals. <laughs> Bring the beef, son! Bring the beef, son! <laughs> oh man, check out these gains. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today I'm gonna to be trying to fill this massive blackboard behind me with something cool. Now, for a bit of context, I've just started to get some personal training here. This is Studio Health and Fitness and a friend of mine, Chris, who runs this place has been kind enough to let me abuse his property. Every time I come here, I can't help but with whatever we're doing, just see this giant blackboard in the distance and think, man, I could have fun with that. Thankfully, he said that they're pretty flexible with how they use it and uh, occasionally I'll see some things on here, some exercises and stuff. So with what I do, I wanna try and make sure that there's some space for them to use it as a blackboard, but I also want to try and see if I can leave a little bit of a present for them to enjoy. Now they have this little bucket of chalk here anyway, and uh, I bought some chalk along with me just so I have a variety to work with, just some cheap stuff from Kmart. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do before I really clean this up to have a very smooth base to work from is just play around with my materials and start forming ideas. I'm gonna start off with a bucket of chalk that is provided by the studio itself and see what colors I have to work with and then I'll open up some of the boxes that I've bought. So we have a purple, red, green, yellow, pink, white and blue. So that's everything in the bucket color wise. Then I have this box of sidewalk chalk and there are a few different colors in here and there's a more of a square shape. So I don't know if that's gonna make, make a difference but we have a brown, we have a sort of a very light fleshy color we have a lot of the same colors in here, the greens, a couple of blues, purple, uh, and this is like a near white. This is a, more of a gray. Otherwise, mostly the same and nice and thick. And then I have this chalk and duster packet. So it comes with this duster. I don't know how effective it is. And uh, some little packets of chalk. Now I've got one packet of white chalk, and I think having a lot of the really fine stuff is gonna be good because I'll be able to do more details because it's much finer. However, this stuff is notoriously snappy, as in it breaks a lot. That aside, we have a similarly delicate packet of colored chalk, including pretty much all of the colors I've shown you, uh, a couple more brownish colors. But coming to this, uh, this little box of chalk at the end might be a bit of fun because this will be fun for details and getting in some really sharp edges. Concept wise is where this gets a little more interesting. Cause again, I need to have a little bit of space for them to use this, but I also want to fill as much of it as possible and have a lot of fun with it. The other thing is I really want to stick to the theme. Obviously people use this place for a function. So let's, uh, let's maybe rub off what we've got here and play around with a few concepts. Man, this duster is crappy. Now, I like the idea of using perspective a little bit because we have sort of these pillars on the side uh, and this is a nice square room. So if I have sort of something that looks a little bit boxy and goes back using a little bit of perspective to frame whatever I put in here, I think that could be cool, create a sense of space. It's not gonna be perfect, but it also, you know, gives me some ideas. I can use some green at the bottom to keep this mat sort of extending across there. You can see that the ground is sort of fake grass, this turfish stuff. Tur turfish? Tur turf? Turf. Turfish. Turfish. Turfish delight. And you guys know me, I like drawing characters. I think because this place is predominantly for personal training, jujitsu, uh, weightlifting and training in that regard, I think it would be cool to have maybe two people who represent those things. So a dude in like a jujitsu gi and uh, maybe a lady holding a big weight. I don't know. And it's cool because we can go life size. So we can have a dude here maybe. We can have a lady over here. Now this isn't pretty, I'm just brainstorming. <laughs> I feel like maybe they should be bigger, but if they're a bit taller than the average person, I feel like that might be visually more interesting. So as far as usable blackboard, let's keep this sort of area more empty. And then I can fill all this other stuff with something that thematically fits. I can't believe I caught that. I barely did. Look at me go, I'm on a roll. I keep catching it. Oh man. I'm feeling confident today. I think this is gonna go well.
I start off by thoroughly cleaning the blackboard and it became apparent pretty quickly that this whole endeavour was going to involve a lot of full body movement. Cleaning the blackboard alone was a pretty good workout and I even started to get a sweat going. After the blackboard was fully dry, I went through and started a kind of refined sketch, stepping back constantly to see what it looked like from a distance and to make sure that my proportions and shapes looked okay. With everything laid out in a way that I thought looked cool, but still left room for practical use, it was time to get into the nitty gritty, building up layers of colour to try and create cool gradient effects for skin tones, clothing and the environment. As the piece started coming together, I wanted to add some solidity and refinement. I tried to make the floor areas look more solid by smudging some heavily laid chalk, making for a flatter look, and I went back to the characters and added white outlines around some edges for a rim lighting effect, and tried to use some wet wipes on top of a pencil to draw out some darker detail. To be completely honest, I didn't love how the faces and skin tones turned out. It was hard to get a natural look without the right colours and with so much texture. And while I'm sure black chalk exists somewhere, I didn't have access to any, so creating contrast and detail was particularly difficult. But hey, given the circumstances, I think the result came together pretty well and it makes for a really fun and interesting showpiece for the centre of this gym. <sighs> okay, I'm done. I have uh, worked up a bit of a sweat just doing this. I feel like this fitness place could even just set up a few chalkboards and let people, you know, let out their energy that way because I'm uh, covered in sweat. But this has been a lot of fun. I actually need to rush and finish off because a class of something is going to be filing in here just in moments. But that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed the end result and I'm more than anything, really hope that the people who run this place love it as well. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and of course subscribe to Draw With Jether for more fun with art and animation three times a week. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.